But they weren't planning on this either. They're all combat engineers. Well, we finished the pontoon bridge just in time for the North Koreans to use it for mortar practice. Huh. A bridge that takes its own toll. I was treating him. How's he doing? He's going to be OK. He should be coming around soon. I'm sorry this had to happen, son. And I'm going to see to it that it doesn't happen again. You're going home. Uh, He's not hurt that badly. I'd go easy with the going home talk. You should have been in the paratroopers, Dorsey. I've never seen anyone who can jump so well. I got lucky. Come on, I'll give you another chance. Well, oh, I have to be going. We'll continue the massacre tomorrow. <laughs> sure thing, Father. Who do you think of recommending Dorsey for a hardship discharge? Why? What's the problem? Well, his family's pretty strapped, and they need him to help out. Yes, I can imagine it isn't easy with all those mouths to feed. What mouths? He just showed me a picture of his family in Brooklyn. He's got five little brothers and sisters. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll speak to him in the morning. Well, wait, 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 let's not be too hasty. There's a few things I want to check out first. Your, uh, your checkers, Patsy, tells me you're from Brooklyn. Yeah, that's right. Bainbridge Street. Is there any reason why your CO would think you live on a farm? You've been talking to my CO? You're a pretty lucky soldier. He seems like a terrific guy. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, I guess everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Somebody have a problem with him? My only problem is that I'm tired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like to turn in.